Is it worth it to purchase loose Pokemon Booster Packs? Are loose booster packs really packs that are already filtered out from the booster boxes? I bought 6 Evolving Skies loose booster packs online to test it out. Let's see what we will get. This is the first pack. A rare Milotic and no hollow rare cards in the first pack. Now we are going for the second pack. We pulled a reverse hollow Dialga and a rare Appleton card in our second pack. Let's go for our third pack. In our third pack, we pulled a reverse holo Thievel and also a rare Milotic card. Now we are at our fourth pack. Let me just do the card trick here. In our fourth pack, we pulled a rare Tropius and no hollow rares in this pack. We are already at our 5th pack, and we have no full art or V holo so far. This is not looking too good. A rare Lilligant and no hollow rare in our fifth pack. We are down to our last pack. We got a rare shiftry and no rare holos for this last pack. The pulls are not that impressive. We only landed two reverse holo rares out of six packs. This may make it seems like loose packs are only filtered out packs from the booster boxes. But it might just really comes down to luck. And it's only just 6 booster packs we opened here.